Natasha Walker's life was taken shortly after midnight on New Year's Day. She didn't deserve that, bro. I'm telling you, like, she's good. She would have been good to you. You didn't have to do it like that. Someone shot her around 2 in the morning near Cridland Road and Parkway Street as she celebrated the new year with friends. Before you take somebody, just think, just think, just think, just think. There's somebody that loved this person. We miss her. We all feel like we dream it. This is the story of 32-year-old Natasha Walker, a mother, wife, and entrepreneur who just bought her dream home and recently had her dream wedding. 2023 was going to be her million-dollar year. She was an inspiration to thousands, and she made it her mission in life to uplift others. Sadly, as Natasha was attempting to protect a woman who was afraid of a man, this man would violently take Natasha's life. Only a couple of hours after the new year began, Natasha would be dead. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Greensboro, North Carolina. The bustling city of Greensboro is situated in the central part of North Carolina, offering a perfect blend of historical landmarks and modern conveniences. Being the third largest city in the state, Greensboro is a highly sought-after location, and its proximity to the capital city Raleigh, located only 67 miles away, makes it an ideal choice for prime real estate. Greensboro has transformed into a sports hub with numerous athletic venues and events, earning the nickname Tournament Town. It has a diverse range of attractions, including museums, art galleries, outdoor green spaces, and local events that offer endless opportunities for entertainment and recreation. Natasha Yvette Jones Walker was born on April 4, 1990, in Rocky Mount, Virginia, but she spent most of her life in Greensboro, North Carolina, where she graduated from Eastern Guilford High School in 2009. She later pursued her studies at Guilford Community College. For over six years, Natasha worked as a customer service representative at Apple, but her desire to become an entrepreneur eventually led her to establish Natasha Credit Services. As a tax professional consultant, she found her purpose and enjoyed bringing joy and positivity to her community by investing in her client's future. During her childhood, Natasha attended St. Thomas Chapel, where she was a member of the children's choir. As an adult, she joined the Usher Board and the Praise Dance Ministry and continued to attend the church, giving glory to God for all he did in her life. God gonna do stuff for you all this week that gonna make you want God's gonna be doing stuff all this week that's gonna make you go, go Jesus! <laughs> Every day this week, God gonna do something praiseworthy. And I'm not talking about walk you up, start as you're on your way, close you in your right mind. I'm talking about raises and contracts and breakthroughs, the severing of soul ties. Oh my God, I'm talking about this week, God gonna put your enemy under your feet, y'all. Somebody clap your hands and give God praise. Your, hey, listen, I, this ain't for everybody, but I want you to shout if this is for you. This week, God's gonna make your enemy your footstool. She was a helper and supported a lot of people even when time was limited. She had an amazing bubbly personality. Natasha was the type of person that if she was winning, she wanted everyone around her to win too. Natasha always kept a positive attitude and would glorify God every chance she had. She was an inspiration to many people and showed how successful you could be if you just worked hard. Natasha married the love of her life, Jesse Omega Lee Walker on November 7, 2021. She was excited to celebrate their first full year of marriage together in November 2022. the two had two beautiful daughters together. Natasha was looking forward to the new year and felt like 2023 would be an extremely successful year for her. 
It was evident in a post on Facebook from Natasha before the new year, reflecting back on her struggles and sharing positive energy, saying 2023 would be her million dollar year. On January 1, New Year's Day at around 1.42 in the morning, police officers responded to a call of a shooting in the vicinity of Cridland Road and Parkway Street. Officers arrived on the scene and discovered that Natasha had been shot. The police subsequently reported that Natasha had passed away as a result of her injuries. Greensboro police are trying to figure out who and why someone shot a woman at a New Year's Eve party. 32-year-old Natasha Walker died in that shooting just after midnight. WFMY News 2's Hunter Funk spoke to her family about their devastating loss. She joins us live now, not far from where that shooting happened. Yeah, it was just before 2 Sunday morning that police got the call about gunshots and friends and family of Natasha Walker's lives changed forever. A Facebook Live capturing friends ringing in the new year. She came up with an idea. Um, I'm usually not the one on the mic. I'm a dancer. I love to dance. She loves to sing. And she was like, uh, let's do like a little promo video. Like you coming in like, hey, you know, welcome to, you know, the venue. It's the new year. Come celebrate with us. Turned into the last dance Natasha Walker's cousin and business partner would ever have with her. I was like, hey, friend, come do the dance with me. You know, um, didn't know that would be my last dance. <laughs> it means so much. Shortly after Walker left the party that night, Gordon knew something was wrong. Knew something wasn't right. Um, it had been 10 minutes since we had left each other. A heartbreaking start to the new year. Walker was busy running several businesses, including working with people to build their credit and managing rental properties. She got married in 2021, friends saying she was a great wife and mom to two kids. She was also a great singer, loved God, and was full of life. It was reported that Natasha was attempting to help another woman when she was gunned down. The suspect in Natasha's murder was identified as 48-year-old Vashon Juan Sigler. After Natasha tried to intervene to help the woman, he grabbed a handgun and shot inside Natasha's SUV that was near Cridland Road and Parkway Street. After the murder, he was struck by a vehicle while he was walking. Court documents reveal that the driver of that car was Natasha's husband Jesse Walker. He is said to have cooperated with police. After the shooting on New Year's Day, Greensboro police say the murder suspect, 48-year-old Vashon Sigler, was hit by a car. Court documents now reveal that the driver of that car was Natasha Walker's husband, Jesse Walker. Those documents say Natasha Walker's husband allegedly tracked Sigler down after the shooting and hit Sigler with a car. Vashon was transported to Moses Cone Hospital, where he required intubation and was diagnosed with severe road rash, affecting 10% of his left side, a fracture to his cervical spine, a fracture to his thoracic spine, and a fracture to his left pelvic bone that needed surgical repair. It is reported that he will have physical impairments as a result of his injuries and will be required to undergo regular rehabilitation, in addition to requiring extensive help with his basic activities of daily life. He was treated then arrested. He was charged with first-degree murder, possession of a firearm by a felon, and discharging a firearm into an occupied vehicle. He learned about his murder charge while he was in the hospital suffering from critical injuries. This was not Vashon's first run-in with the law. His criminal record shows he has a violent past. He was previously convicted of robbery with a dangerous weapon back in 1998 which he pled guilty. He has violated domestic violence orders, carried a gun as a convicted felon, and stalked and beat a woman. Court documents show that between February and November 2021, he assaulted a woman, fired shots into her apartment and left her family fearing for their safety. One of Natasha's closest friends said that Natasha was trying to protect a woman that was afraid of Vashon, but sadly her efforts to ensure the safety of others had the unfortunate consequence of jeopardizing her own security. The news of Natasha's death affected so many of her friends and loved ones and was especially devastating to her husband and her daughters. Her husband posted on Facebook, I'm so crushed I miss holding your warm and your soft soul right next to me at this time of night, I'm missing you. Another friend said in a Facebook post, she is the definition of a true boss. She fought through blood, sweat and tears, being successful and accomplished all these things in a short amount of time. 
The love people had for her was on display in front of her house, as many people gathered in the street to show their support for her husband and their children, ages 7 and 12. Through her financial services company, Natasha garnered a lot of notoriety in the Greensboro area. She started the company with the intention of bridging the wealth gap and made it possible for more people to create generational wealth. Since her death, people's timelines on Facebook have been filling up with memories of how remarkable Natasha was and the happiness she brought to the world. Family and relatives reported that when Natasha thought that God was calling her to do something, she made it a point to pay attention. It is not known if there were or will be any charges filed against the husband. This case is ongoing. What happened to Natasha was a tragedy. She was just trying to help a woman that was in a dangerous situation and that resulted in her losing her life. My condolences to her friends and family. She didn't deserve what happened to her. May you continue to heal and someday find peace. And I wanna say thank you Lord for all you've done for me. It could have been me, thank you outside. Woo! Thank you and no food, thank you and no clothes. How many of y'all just want to say thank you, Lord, for all you've done for me? Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.